gardeners. <laughs> no, I'm not in Texas. Yeah. Who knew? I hope you all are doing well. Doing okay. Uh, temporal reference. Pretty sunset. Leaves are turning. Busy, 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 busy. And, uh, busy, busy, busy. Let's see. What's going on in the world? Got a bunch of bullies who are stomping their feet and wanting their way. They don't hold the meetings they should have. They blame everyone else and shut down everything. That just sounds like incompetence or not giving a damn. Could be either, could be both, I, you know. in any conscience whatsoever. Weeks before, people wanted to send oh, millions of dollars of hardware over another country. But this week, because they can't get their way, because the law is already passed, it's law. Get over it. It's the law. It ain't perfect, but it's better than nothing. And when you're talking about uninsured people, you're talking about nothing. I've lived uninsured for years at a time with pre-existing conditions that got me denied health insurance. I know what being denied insurance is. It's a very scary, dark place because you don't dare get hurt. You don't dare get sick. And if you are sick, you troll the uh, drugstore aisles for anything that can get you okay. And if that, and if none of those things are going to help you, then you're gonna have to shell out the dose of Joseph. it's not going to be pretty. This is allowing uninsured people to get insured. And if you don't make a hell of a lot of money, you don't pay a hell of a lot of money for the insurance either. It ain't perfect, but it's better than nothing. I want to ask these representatives who seem to be doing their own agenda instead of the people's business. I could be doing this all day. Do they want to take personal responsibility for anyone that dies because they don't have insurance by delaying Obamacare for a year? can't delay Obamacare for a year. It's the law, the law, the law, the law. Law is set. Here it is. We're in it. Now, there's your temporal reference. And there were so many responses for people trying to get onto it. Crash the system. <laughs> Which, I knew this would happen. I have worked in computers long enough. I knew that would happen. So, okay. Okay. But, uh... <laughs> Ridiculousness. You want to be responsible for anyone that dies? Who can't get insurance because of you? I wouldn't want that on me. 
You want some asthmatic kid in the emergency room to die? Really? Because you know what? I think they do. I think some people, mostly Republicans, but maybe not all. No, but do you really want to have someone die? Multiple people die because they don't have health care? I don't. I don't. But I think some people do want other people to die. Get rid of food stamps. Other people will die. Not them up there. Other people. People they don't want to think about listen to or talk to people in the down there. So now with government shutdown, I don't know if people are going to get any Medicare, Medicaid, soldiers pay. Oh, but they get paid. This shit has to stop. You shut down the government, you don't get paid either. No one get paid. If everyone else doesn't get paid, you don't get paid. President doesn't get paid. Senate, court, House representatives, NSA, nobody gets paid. Damn it. Nobody. This exemption on their part where they have special health insurance that's just for them. Yeah, that shit should stop too. Plus, they shouldn't get salary for life. Senators and representatives for the U.S. get their salary for life? So once you're elected, once you're not a rep or senator anymore, you still get that payment? No. Hell no. That's ridiculous. That's insane. I can almost understand a president getting it for life because it would be really stupid for a president to die in poverty. But you know, most of them have their own resources like giving speeches and writing books and most of them make some money with that. So I don't think we'd have that situation. I really don't think there should be salary for life if you get elected once. No. You get paid while you're at the job, and then once you're not a senator rep anymore, you don't get paid for that job. You get another job like everybody else. They are so special in the House and the Senate. They are so special, special health insurance, special retirement, like no one else in the country has either. They have special stuff no one else has in this country. That should stop. That has to stop. Hmm. You're in my tax dollars paying someone who isn't even doing that job anymore for that job they did five years ago? No! No! No, no, no. Biggest golden parachute I can think of years of time, it tops any corporate CEO after years of time. Mm -mm -mm. They also shouldn't be paid over 150000 either. No. It makes it too attractive for the greedy, if it's more than that. Living in Washington, yes, is expensive, but 150 should cover you. Yes. Horrible. 
horrible self-serving rules for our representatives make our representatives not even care about representing us anymore. They've got their golden freaking ticket. No wonder they ask for so much money and need so much money to get those jobs. Huh. Yeah, well. That's just... Such a waste. That's a waste of money. It really is. You're not a senator or representative anymore? Go back to your old job. Or start a company. Or do public speaking. Write a book. Like everyone else does. You're a statesman? Well, then. Try and get onto one of the boards of the American Red Cross. Or the... Or Amnesty International. Or... Uh, UNICEF. You'd probably get a stipend if you really needed one. Jeez. Oh my god. This is what happens when you live in a plutocracy. have a good day. Think on these things. It won't change without us. Something else to do. Yes, I know. 